Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood queen of fandom trash here, and today for you, it is my Sunny Con haul video. Yes. So yeah, as you would have seen from the latest video, I went to Sunny Con, which was down in Newcastle, and of course, as I always do. Whenever I'm at a con, I always buy a ton of stuff. Now this time around, I couldn't buy a lot of big items. Obviously, this time around, I was going down to England by a friend's car, so obviously we didn't want to. I didn't want to buy too many bigger stuff that you know we would be able to fit it in the suitcase or in the car. So a lot of the items that I got were smaller items, but I did pick up a figure, just only one figure. I think it's the most expensive thing that I actually got, but you know what, worth it. And of course, it is this Sukuna figure. Yes, because as you can probably tell, I'm a bit of a Sukuna fan to say the least. Hehe, <laughs> whoops. Um, but yeah, so I got this figure. I actually had to abandon the box and put this in the suitcase in the safe bit because that was the only way I was going to get it home. But he is still intact and looks really great. I will say he's definitely bigger than my other two figures that I've got, so I'm not sure if he's meant to be like a scale figure or something, but yeah. But he's really cool, and I really like his pose and stuff like that. And it's a figure that I've seen that I've been wanting to get, but again, didn't really know where to get it. So, finally got him. So yeah, and he's definitely bigger than my other two Sukuna figures. Mm. I'll put a comparison here. But yeah, so that is the first thing that I got myself. Now, SunnyCon itself is a three-day con, which I'll be honest, I've never done before until SunnyCon. So I did buy things separately throughout each day. I tried to not go too overboard on each day. There were times when I only bought a few things one day, the other not. But to be fair, I can't remember every single thing that I got, like on each day, except for the Sukuna one because I remember that being on the first day. But I'm going to just show you, I'm just going to go into the bag and just show you what first comes to hand. So, the next thing is this t-shirt that I got. And I think I actually might have got this on the last day. But yes, I got this Nezuko t-shirt, which basically just says Demon. Yeah, now it was like a big sort of stall with that, had like tons of t-shirts. They didn't really have any business cards, but I did take a picture of the website. Here it is, and then I will, again, as I always do, link it down below so that if you yourself might want to get a t-shirt like this, because there was also anime ones, there were some Doctor Who ones I remember seeing, and etc, etc. Okay? Alright, let's see what else we get. Alright, ooh, this feels like badges. Uh, yep, these are badges, and okay. Alright, I've got a business card here, and it is, alright, three sisters who make art, and I basically got these two badges. This one I got Futaba, which I was cosplaying Futaba, so I always try and find something to do with the series that I am cosplaying from, so of course I had to get myself a Futaba badge, and of course I had to get the Risei badge because basically they had ones from Persona 5 and 4 and these are my best girls from those games so very happy again they are three sisters who aren't I will put the their links down in the description so that you can check them out yourself okay next up oh is some prints that I got which is again I think Persona themed again and this is from Data Data Crab. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but that's their business card. I will put their details so that you know where to find them. But yeah, I talked to them. It was actually the last day because I remember this because they recognized they saw me in my Futaba cosplay and they were really excited. And basically, what I got was these three prints. So the first one I got here is Mitsuru from. Persona 3, which is obviously her in her battle outfit in um, Persona 4 Ultimax, which again is really cool. I really love this outfit. 
And yeah, you don't see a lot of Mitsuru stuff, which is a shame because she is definitely best girl in three. I'm not gonna take like any arguments on that one. Um, and then I've got this cute one of Rise from the Dancing All Night game, which I do want to cosplay this one day, but I don't have the body confidence for it yet. Maybe one day, but yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, I got Futaba, which is obviously just her in her sort of winter outfit, which was basically, this was what I was cosplaying at the event. So yeah, so I was very happy to get prints of basically all my best girls from each of, from three, four, and five. I've not played one or two, so I have no opinions. I do eventually want to play the games, but I don't know, maybe hopefully one day, maybe Atlas will make a remake and I can play them. Anywho, but yeah, those are that. Now this is, now, it might be a little crumpled because it was a bigger print and also it was their display one. And that is this really cute one of all of the evolutions lines of Gatomon. And yeah, again, I'm a big Digimon fan, as you might have seen from the previous videos. And when I saw this, I really wanted it, but they didn't have any left, so they gave me the display one, which was really cool. Now, let's see. I definitely picked up their cards. Yeah. So, they are dumpling hearts. So, yeah. They have a lot of art stuff, so they've got a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Etsy, and again, I'll put all the links down below in the description. Now also I got this cute little heartless badge from them, which was really cute, because again, Kingdom Hearts. Now the next three items I got, I think these are of them just reselling them, I don't think they're actually their art stuff, I think they were just reselling them from stuff they got. So I've got these cute little Juice Kaisen badges which I think these are like official merch, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so there, this is Yuji. I got Maki. And I also got Megami. Cause yeah, why not? So I got those three. And yeah, they're really nice badges that I'll probably put on one of my, my jackets and stuff like that. So yeah, there is that. So all thing in the other bag, which, uh, okay, yep. So this is like a sticker sort of um, thing, which is Todd's Hollow. I think that's what that says right there. And again, it is more badges because of course I love my badges. So, okay, so we've got these two um, Nezuko badges. So there's this one of Nezuko being very happy and then one of Nezuko being very, very angry because that's, that is Nezuko for you. But yeah, of course I could get these badges because I absolutely love musical. Um, and then there was this bisexual one that, and then there was this bisexual one that I got, which basically the badge says, I am not a phase and I am not phased by you, because yes, how many times I get told that it's a goddamn phase, which is not, trust me on this one. So I've got that one, and I also got this really cute online sort of one and a sort of like Japanese sort of internet style one which is really cute so yeah there's all that can you see I like my badges because I do have a coat that I put a bunch of them on all right so the next lot of them are from a actually good friend of mine that I have bought from before and I've actually not been able to see her because of this whole pandemic thing yay so I got to see her finally at SunnyCon and of course I bought a few things from her. First thing that I got from her was this really cute coaster which is of Reki from Skate the Infinity. Now basically because I'm now basically because I was friends with her, she um, did like only one of each of a different type of coaster with a different character from one of her prints and she did put it on her Instagram saying, oh hey, any friends want one, let me know, and I'm like, can I get the Recky one, and she's like, eh, yeah. So yeah, I got this really nice Recky one, and I love the colors, I absolutely love this print. So our sticker set, which is obviously all from Voltron, back in the days of those. Oh god, remember that? Remember what that was the height of fandom? I still love the show, it's just, 
they made choices. They made some choices, but I still love them. And I actually do have some keyrings of these as well. They're actually on my board that I have. So yeah, but why not get some Voltron stickers? And then last, but certainly not least, is this Carnage um, print that I got from her. Because she does do a lot of Spider-Man stuff. That's one of the things we kind of bond over is that we were both big Spider-Man fans. Her, she is known as Lisa Mack. Again, I have bought from her before and a lot of her stuff is great. I'm not just saying it's great because she is my friend. I am also just saying this because again, I would love her art. And even if we weren't friends, I would still probably buy all of her stuff because her stuff is amazing. And again, support your artist friends. That's what I always say. Or just support small artists. Now the next two things is again, more badges. I think I bought a lot of badges this time around. So I think my, my coat's gonna, my hoodie with all my things are, I might need to get a new gray sort of. But yes, yeah, so, now for these two badges, I recently, finally, it took me a bit, but I finally got into the anime Hunter x Hunter. Now yes, I know, the anime's been out for years, it's been, a, well the manga was out since the 90s, I'm pretty sure. They had a 90s anime, but then there's the 2011 one, which is the one I'm actually watching. It took me a bit, but I got there in the end. So when I was at the con, I was actually trying to find some Hunter Hunter stuff, but I couldn't find many, but I don't know if that's because at the moment it's not as popular as it was, or the fact is that obviously it was other stuff because the manga has been on high EAs for ages, but I did hear that the manga is coming back. So hopefully resurgence might happen, but not talking about that. So basically what I got were these cute badges of Gone and Killua because those two are basically my favorite characters in the show and they are my children and I will protect them no matter what and I don't care what anyone says. I want to punch Ahsoka in the goddamn mouth because oh my god he annoys the living fuck out of me. But anywho, um, but yeah, so I got these and I was very happy. I'm hoping that maybe I can get some more Hunter Hunter merch somewhere. I'm pretty sure I can find somewhere, but yeah. And yeah, so the person I got it from is Actually, I've gotten stuff from them before. Actually, I think, yeah, they were at AcmeCon because I got um, some badges from them before and it was Rosie Michuk. Again, I don't know, but yeah, that's their little card there. Again, I will put their links in the description so you can find them because again, they do have a lot of really cute stuff. Because originally we found it and it was a recce badge and I was like, oh yeah, I already have that. But then I saw the Gone and Killua badges and I was like, yes, finally some Hunter Hunter stuff. But yeah, I mean, if there's any artists watching this who may have some Hunter Hunter stuff, let me know and contact me and maybe give me your Etsy or whatever you use for shop. Anywho, ooh, okay, the next one is again, okay, I think, yeah, but I definitely bought a lot of badges in um, this one. But yeah, so this one is Zoakuma, I think that's how you. Zoakuma, I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. But again, this is the little leaflet kind of card. Again, as always, put in the description. But yeah, so I got three badges. So the first badge I got was this cute little Tokyo Mimi one, which is of Mew Ichigo. The new series has started. Actually, the recording of this, um, the first episode is out. I've watched it. I'm not going to say my feelings on it because I'm going to wait until the next few episodes come out and I might make a video on it, but we'll see. Anyways, but yes, there's that. And then there is this cute badge I got, which basically says thinking about waifus. And then I got another one that says thinking about husbandos because I am a bisexual mess and I have waifus and I have some husbandos. So yeah, so I thought I guess you get. Because I saw the, I think I saw the husbandos one and I was like, Oh, there has to be a wife in front of me to get both being the bisexual disaster that I am. This actually, oh, these are stickers. Something that's not badges, they're stickers. And this is from Becky T Art. I actually had a bit of a conversation with them because we were just talking about As By X Family, which was obviously a great anime that I'm watching so far. And basically they were doing a deal where basically you can buy, I think five stickers and the sixth one's free pretty sure. So I actually can't remember which one was the free one but basically yeah so I got this cute little Anya um, sticker because I had to get something Anya because 
she's adorable and should be protected at all costs. I got this cute little Eevee sticker. Got an Appa sticker because of course. And then I got this Milaku sticker because this Pokemon needs all the love because it's so adorable. Um, and then I got this cute sort of like unicorn sticker. And then I got this little sword sticker. I just really like the design of it. I'm not sure if it's actually from anywhere. If it is, let me know. Um, but yeah, so those are the stickers that I got. I'm probably also going to put them on my dressed in drawers and stuff like that. But yeah, they're really nice stickers. And again, uh, Becky was really, really lovely to talk to. So yeah. So we got all of that. Alright, let's see what else have we got. On Friday, I was cosplaying as Toru from the Fruits Basket. Now, of course, everyone knows about my love for Fruits Basket. I was trying to find something Fruits Basket related because again, I was cosplaying as, um, because I obviously I was cosplaying as Toru. And then it wasn't, a, I think it was a day later, a friend of mine told me about a notebook that had Kyo on it. Now, if you know me at all, you know that I absolutely adore Kyo from Fruits Basket. Um, so, I found this notebook, which is obviously a sketch of Kyo. It's just like a sort of blank one, but I didn't realize, because I just bought it because I saw this, but I didn't realize that the cat form of him was on the other side, which I think is really, really cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's a sort of, um, sketch pad. It looks more like it, but it looks really cool, and I like it so much. Now, I had a really nice talk with the artist themselves, and yeah, I was and they seemed really lovely. Uh, they are Artful Crafts. They have a Facebook and an Instagram. A lot of their stuff seemed to be like one, like w there was just one off because I think this was the only key one that I saw. I don't know, I, there may have been more, but a lot of it did look hand drawn and everything and it looks so cool and I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm not sure what I will use it for yet, but I'll tell you that later. But yeah, so again, that is Artful Crafts. Okay. And it keeps going, folks. Jesus Christ. You don't realize how much you bought until you make a video. Um, okay, okay. Eh, more badges, people. So, oh, this is... Yeah, I've bought stuff from them before. So it's... Spark and Roll? Wait, I can't... They used to go by something else, but this is like their new name. And again, I'm really bad at pronouncing, but they also are a part of Little Lemon Studios as well. So yeah, I will put both of them in just in case these are from them as well. But these, these are badges, which one is Mutual Pining, and there is only one bed, which are obviously some stuff, some tags from um, fanfiction, because you know, we all read a little bit of fanfiction and you know, honestly, I like a good mutual pining, and I also like the one where there's, where it's the, oh no, there's only one bed cliche as well. Because I like mutual pining because I like the idea of them actually both really like each other, and it's really, really cute. I don't like the whole one-sided thing, because that's just a no. Um, but yeah, and then this one just always funny. And these, oh, this is from Bunny Boops really cute little card there and I think yep these are Sailor Moon inspired sort of badges that I got so I got this one which is Moon Tiara Magic and this inside of one of the brooches so yeah it was really cute and I really like these again I do love my Sailor Moon but yeah um, I might need a new jacket at this point because I've bought so many badges I didn't realize how many badges I bought uh, all right Okay, this seems... Okay, this is... Ah, uh, yeah, I know this one. Oh, yes, I know this one. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to cover it because I don't want you to do count after my butt. But, yes, this is um, Lisa Baggy. I have bought from them before. Again, their stuff's always really, really nice. And it, this time I only got one thing from them, and that was this sticker, which says Demon F. And that's all I'm gonna say. If you know, you know. So yeah, swiftly on to so that um, <laughs> YouTube doesn't come after my butt. But yes, anywho. 
Did I look at the other thing I bought from the packing? So, yes. Um, let's see. Alright, well, let's see here. Okay, so this was like a booth of some other stuff. Oh, and I'll check those out in a sec. Um, but yeah, there was a stall. Um, it is Harpy, Harpy Market. Basically, it has basically a lot of, of sort of official merch stuff that they buy and then obviously resell it. So obviously I got this, which is a Monokuma badge because I was cosplaying as Monokuma. So obviously I had to get this. And yeah, it's really a sort of a nice big badge. And then I also got this little thing, which I think is meant to be like a little acrylic stand. And it's basically of Maki from um, V3. But again, I do want to cosplay her at some point. I will build this up and you can see a better version. It's basically, it's, as I can see, it's the little like sprite. And then like when you um, complete like their sort of friendship thing, you get, um, yeah, you get, you, you can understand what you get. But anywho, I'm not going to say just in case YouTube comes after my butt. Um, but yeah, but that was them. Now, the next sort of lots are some stickers. Now these are from like official um, like sweet stuff from like the comp like from sweets that I got most of these from. So first one I'm going to show you is I got a Tokyo Revengers one, and I got this guy, which is I think it's Takamichi. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce his name, which is basically the main character of Tokyo Revengers, which I honestly did not see. I thought it was Mikey, but that's a whole another story. I got these Juice Kaisen stickers, which I've gotten these before, but they seem to be different ones. So this time I got, got Yuji here, uh, Sorsukuna and Gojo there, and then there's Gato, then oh, an upside down Maki, and then there's Panda and the crew, and then there's Yuji again. And then there was another one that I got, which was a Demon Slayer one. So we got a Nosuke. We got sort of Tandro and Nezuko in the first episode. Then it's Nezuko and Tandro again. And then it's that simp guy from Demon Slayer. I can never remember his name. Um, and then there's Rengoku. And then we got a Nosuke again. So yeah, there's also some cute little stickers that I got there. Okay, I think, yep, I think this is the last thing that I got, because Jesus Christ, yep, I got a lot of things. Oh, but I know where I'm going to put it all, so don't worry about that. But yeah, I think that is the last of that. Yeah, okay, so the last few things I got from Pepper Mint Papers Illustrations, so that's them there. Um, so I got these little sort of postcard prints. So the first one I got here is this really cute one of uh, Reiki and Manga from Skate the Infinity because obviously I do ship them. But they are really, really adorable. So I got this. Then I got this Cat Noir um, print, which again is really nice. You can see a little, um, little, little, um, Ladybug, sort of, bon yo yo bon on his head. So yeah, I got that. And then, finally, another sticker. I got this little cute little sticker of a bisexual tea. Because they basically had a bunch of like LGBT um, stickers. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, that is pretty much all the stuff that I got from SunnyCon. So yeah, jeez. <laughs> don't realize how much you bought until you do a whole video. That is all the stuff from the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if there was any of the stuff that took your fancy and you want to know where it came from, there's, there will be a description down below that shows you where everything came from so that you can support the artist and maybe get yourself a few of these things as well. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and long live the queen of fandom trash. See ya!